new at nine and only on News 5. We are putting the face and the name to the victim of this weekend's deadly ATV crash in Baldwin County. This is 21 year old Marcus George. Family members identified him to us today. His aunt and uncle spoke exclusively with Brianna Hollis about the kind of young man he was. The entire family heartbroken after hearing the news on Saturday. How are you guys holding up? Barely. Deputies say one person died and several others were injured in an ATV crash in the Crossroads community in North Baldwin County around 630 Saturday evening. Loved ones of Marcus George say he's the one who passed away. It's been real tough. He's the one here on the right, the tall one. He was just 21 years old and had started a new job as an electrician's apprentice, just so excited about his future, his aunt and uncle told us. He just got a good raise and he was tickled to death, you know, and he, he had a whole bright future ahead of him. He, he called me up and they gave him a van and said, Aunt Robin, they gave me a van. <laughs> so he was, he was real excited about that. George is the baby of the family, leaving behind an older brother and sister. The other ones are kind of grown and gone, and he's, he's been like, you know, our little buddy. The crew will miss his quirks. When he does his fingers, he's always snapping his fingers. Or and, this, where he yeah, flips his hair back. He flips his hair back like Hollywood. And they'll be left without their favorite political sparring partner. He definitely could argue with you about it. Yeah. Or not argue, he could set you straight about it because he knew, he knew what he was talking about. And as they learn to go on without him, they'll stick together. That was Brianna Hollis reporting. George's funeral is Friday. The sheriff's office has not released any more information on the other people involved in the ATV crash.